Hi there, my name is Theodore Panagakis, and this course is how to become a SISO. So I guess the first thing we need to do is start off, like, why are you here? So I'm assuming you want to become a SISO eventually at some point in your career, but also too, you may be at a point in your career where you're just currently stuck. Um, I suspect you work in the cybersecurity industry, uh, or maybe you come from a risk or even a business background, or maybe you're just starting out. Like for example, you finished high school and you're about to start university and you're not too sure which university course you should choose, um, but you still have the objective long-term in your career of becoming a SISO. Well, regardless of what the reason is what, in terms of why you're here, regardless, I'm gonna show you in detail on the steps and uh, I guess skills that you need and even certifications that you need to help you achieve your goal of becoming a SISO. So this is the absolute best course you can do, I can assure you. I think you're gonna find it very informative and, and very helpful and we've got a lot of information to cover. So let's get started. Uh, I don't wanna delve in this too much. Um, this is just a little bit about me. Um, I come from a management consultant background. I've been a management consultant now for about 20 years. I specialize in IT strategy or IT in general, uh, which obviously entails cybersecurity, um, enterprise architecture, and I've also done a bit of work in um, the business process management space as well. Currently, I work as a cybersecurity advisor um, where I utilize all my skills that you see up here on the screen in advising clients on how to improve cybersecurity within their respective organization. Uh, I've also spoken and taught um, on both cybersecurity and all the other topics you see here on the screen across Australia and Southeast Asia. And fortunately, I've had uh, the um, or been lucky enough to work with SISOs uh, for most of my career. Hence why I've put this course together for you. Because uh, I've taken a lot of mental notes and I've seen a lot of um, traits and skills and certs that are all in common with the SISOs that I've worked with. And having this knowledge I think is also gonna help you in your respective career. That being said, I'm still learning. So I still attend workshops, I still read on a daily basis, um, I maintain an awareness of current uh, security events, cybersecurity events that occur across the globe. And these could be um, breaches of major organizations, uh, but also too, I keep up to date with current technologies in the security space, um, as well as uh, new security practices that organizations are adopting around the world. Um, I'd love to hear from you throughout this course, so please send me a note on uh, the Udemy Messenger platform um, because if you've got any ideas on how to improve this course, as I said, I'd love to hear them and your experiences are just as valuable so you can teach me as well and I'll aim to share your experiences with other students in the course also. Um, just a little bit of a disclaimer um, before we get started. So everything you see in this course is uh, of my own um, opinion and views and my own research as well. So um, it's certainly not, hasn't been used by other organizations. And if you see any of the uh, information here um, within this course that's reflected elsewhere on the internet or otherwise, um, it'd be purely coincidental or I've actually sourced where I've located that information for you so you can follow up and research things yourself. So what sort of things are we trying to achieve on this course? In terms of what are your learning objectives that I'd like to see you achieve on this course? Ultimately, I'd love for you to become a SISO, which is why you're here. But in order for you to get to that point, you need to, I guess, jump through a few steps. So that is, first and foremost, you need to understand the role of the SISO and how to become a SISO um, and get to that role. So that means understanding what sort of skills and certifications that you need um, and what you'd be doing on a daily basis when you get appointed into that role. Um, you also need to learn what do you need to start doing now in terms of where you're at in your specific career um, to get to that, that role. So it could be that you need to undertake a uh, particular course at university or a leadership course, um, whatever that may be, we're gonna put a career path in place for you. I'm gonna show you exactly what the career path is so that you can start adopting that career path and navigate yourself towards becoming a SISO leader. Um, it also goes without saying, we need to understand the roles and responsibilities of a SISO, but also the challenges that a SISO faces on a daily basis. So this is important because you need to have an understanding of uh, the, the risks, the challenges, and some of the constraints and the complexities that SISOs have as 
um, protecting and leading uh, security-based activities across their organization so that you're well prepared to fa face some of these challenges when you yourself become a CISO. And also too, I wanna to finish off on describing to you um, what are some of the successful traits that I've seen CISOs adopt that's helped them in their specific role and that'll be the where we finish off this course.